Hello friends, this video on nutrition in animals part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now discuss about the nutrition in human beings. So here we will see that the process is going to be little more complex, in fact quite complex when compared to amoeba. So in human beings also the nutrition is holozoic type that is intake of solid complex food and the nutrition involves the same five steps that is ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection. So we will learn it step by step. So the entire process happens through a lot of organs. There are different organs which perform specific functions. So let us start with the alimentary canal. So what is alimentary canal? It is a 9 meters long structure extending from mouth to anus. So mouth is the place through which intake of food takes place. So we eat anything through our mouth. So mouth how does your mouth look like? So if you open your mouth, you can see a cavity inside, an open space inside. So whenever you eat something, what do you do? You chew it, right? So basically mouth is the gate or you can say it is like a door through which the entry is allowed. So entry happens through the mouth. So this alimentary canal starts from mouth and it ends at anus and this is where the anus is. And through the anus happens the exit. Exit of what? Exit of the undigested food material. So basically ingestion starts from here and ejection happens here. So in between this, if you see this tube like structure from here. So from here alimentary canal starts, then this tube like structure becomes swollen and forms this structure. Then it gets coiled like this and finally this coiled structure again goes into this green coiled structure and finally it ends at the anus. So basically starting from mouth till anus, this is just one tube. But the same tube, somewhere it is thick, somewhere it is thin, somewhere it is extremely coiled. So its uh, form changes, but basically it is one single tube. And this tube is called the alimentary canal and it is 9 meters long. Now you might wonder that how can a tube which is 9 meters long get accommodated inside our body? That's because in this part, if you see, it is highly coiled, right? So if you coil a tube, it will get accommodated even within a body which is... Uh, not even a few meters right this alimentary canal consists of various organs so the first organ is mouth then comes the buccal cavity buccal cavity is also known as the oral cavity or the cavity inside the mouth so here you have the buccal cavity so this is the buccal cavity or the oral cavity Next is the esophagus. Esophagus is also known as the food pipe. So this pipe like structure which you see here, this is the esophagus or the food pipe. So it carries the food. Next is the stomach. So you see esophagus ends in a swollen bag like structure. So this swollen structure is the stomach. From stomach, the tube extends into the small intestine and this extremely coiled yellow colored structure, this is the small intestine. And this small intestine then goes into the large intestine, the green colored structure here you see. This is also a coiled structure and this is called the large intestine. So now we will talk about each part of this alimentary canal one by one. Now as we learned about each of these parts, we will also simultaneously learn about the steps of the holozoic nutrition. So we will see that at each part, a specific part of digestion takes place. At a certain part of the alimentary canal, the absorption takes place and so on and so forth. So let's start with the mouth and buccal cavity. So mouth is the slit bounded by movable lips. So the lips are like the window panes. Now when you want to open the window, you just open the window panes and then anything can enter through that window. So similarly, when you open your lips, so your mouth gets opened and anything can enter inside your mouth. So the intake of food takes place through mouth. So basically, which is this process? This is nothing but the process of ingestion. So the first step happens through mouth. 
Next is the buccal cavity, that is the oral cavity. Now you open your mouth, mouth just acts like the door. Now through that door a person has entered. So person here refers to the food. So the food has entered through the mouth. Then where it goes, it goes into the entire cavity inside your mouth. So where your teeth are present, where your tongue is present. So you see there you have some hollow space, right? So that is where your food actually goes. So that cavity is called buccal cavity. So in this buccal cavity, you again have some important organs like teeth. Teeth are present there. You have saliva. You, If you feel, if you want to feel it, just just try to see what do you have inside your mouth when even when you are not eating or drinking anything you can see some fluid like structure some watery substance always present inside your mouth so that watery substance is called saliva and this saliva plays a very very important role in the process of digestion you have your tongue so the tongue teeth saliva all these are present in the buccal cavity and trust me they all play very important roles in this process of digestion so how teeth helps now teeth are like sharp structures right so and with these sharp teeth you actually are able to crush the food into pieces because as i said the first job of now once ingestion has happened the next step is digestion so the next job is to break down the complex food into simple form right so now whatever complex food you have taken inside your mouth first of all you have to physically break it so in that physical breaking process the teeth helps because teeth are sharp pointed structures so if you actually observe the, in the all the 32 teeth inside your mouth you'll see some of them are have very pointed ends so that it helps in biting some of them have flat uh, wide ends so that they can crush the food they can help in chewing so that means different teeth are uh, structured in such a way that all of them together can help in crushing down complex food into smaller pieces then comes saliva so what is the purpose of having that watery fluid inside our mouth now this watery fluid gets mixed with the food which we eat and therefore the food gets moistened so the food gets uh, becomes little fluidy the food becomes food becomes softer right and also this saliva contains an enzyme called salivary amylase and this is a digestive enzyme because it helps to convert starch into sugar what is starch now starch and sugar both of them are carbohydrates but starch is a complex form of carbohydrate it is a polysaccharide so polysaccharide means a bigger carbohydrate which has many simple sugars so a lot of simple sugars together form a polysaccharide so starch is a complex form of carbohydrate but sugar is the simplest form of carbohydrate so this enzyme helps to break down the complex carbohydrates into simpler ones so at least one nutrient now the food which you are eating that might contain carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and so many things. So at least one of those nutrients got converted into a simpler form with the help of salivary amylase which is an enzyme that is present in the saliva of your mouth. Then comes tongue. Now tongue contains the taste buds which help to sense the taste of the food. Now why do we cook food? Now, if we want, what we can do is we can just directly take fruits and vegetables from the trees and we can just start chewing them. If somebody wants to eat fish or egg, they can just eat it raw. But that's what we don't do. Why? Because we have a tongue and the tongue can feel the taste of the food. So we want to make it tasty and that is why we mix it with spices and we want to improve the taste of the food. So basically tongue, that is one purpose of tongue. Besides this, tongue also helps in actually uh, crushing down the food. So the food is by movement of the tongue, the food can also be moved well inside the mouth so that it gets mixed with the saliva properly. And uh, once its job is done in the oral cavity, it can then go down the esophagus. So the movement of the tongue helps in proper mixing of the food with the saliva. So you see inside the buccal cavity itself, the process of digestion starts. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.